Hockey 605, we're here with Coach Nick Kruger of the Des Moines Junior Buccaneers. Brought your kids in for the the uh, Sioux Falls Flyers icebreaker tournament here, and they're, they're doing really well. Yeah, this is uh, it's been a great tournament. We're really excited to be here. Love the, the new venue, and uh, it's, it's kind of fun for us to play some teams we usually don't play. And your kids are enter highly entertaining to watch. Not an overly huge squad. Uh, but they really play with a lot of heart, don't they? Yeah, they do. We have a kind of a young squad, a lot of kids that are first year uh, squirts. So it's the first time playing full ice. And uh, we try to play a real aggressive style where we're spending a lot of time in the offensive zone, doing a lot of floor checking and those types of things. So uh, when it's working, it looks good and it's fun to watch. But, uh, you know, it doesn't always work that way. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't always go your way, but yeah. it sure did a lot this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, and tomorrow, you have another game now. Do you know who you play tomorrow? Not sure who we play. I know we. I think we uh, play in the third place game, so we're excited about that. Mm. Yeah, it's a great, great outing for the first time here at the Shields Iceplex for your team, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, we're, I'm proud of the kids. They they played hard, and uh, you know, a lot to work on still. But we're we're awfully proud of them. They they continue to work hard, and you know, they're just kind of learning the how to play in full ice, and so they're they're doing a good job. And I, I'm amazed at this age and uh, of their development that the players are all able to play through three full periods. You don't see any tired legs out there that, like I expected to see in that third period. Yeah, we're, we're probably uh, one of the teams that has uh, more kids on, on the roster than, than most of the teams we played this weekend where, you know, we have three full lines and three sets of D. And uh, so we're, we really try to focus on the hard shifts when we can and to wear teams out so that by the third period, you know, their pucks start to turn over, those types of things. So it, it's, it's, it, it's advantageous for us, really. So. Yeah. Especially when it comes down to that third period, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> In a tournament setting, even. That's right. So tell us a little bit about the Des Moines uh, Junior Buccaneers. How long has your program been around? How many players do you have and what age divisions? Yeah, so I think the program, uh, our junior team is celebrating its 35th year anniversary wow. this year. So um, I think the, 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 it, that association initially was bought to to uh, support the ice sports in Des Moines. So, you know, it's certainly been around longer than 35 years, but uh, we've been playing under the Bucks, uh, Junior Buccaneers kind of namesake for, for that time. And, um, you know, so it's, uh, you know, having grown up and played in Des Moines too, there's a lot of pride in the Buccaneer logo yeah. and, uh, and all that. Yeah, so. Some long, long standing history and tradition there. Yeah, it is. And it's kind of funny when you go to some of the tournaments and, you know, when you grow up playing against someone your whole life and, and now you're playing, uh, or you're coaching and you're coaching against kids kids uh, who used to play against their parents and so it's kind of it's kind of interesting how it all shakes out over the years just keep it keeping it going yeah giving back to the game right that's right yeah, that's what it's all about this stage for sure well I know you've got some kids that probably need to go get fed yeah and get get a little more nutrition in the system and get ready for tomorrow's game now what time do you play Probably a little bit later, around 10? Yeah, we're playing, I think, in the third place game at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. All yep. right. Well, thanks for taking time with us at Hockey 605. Best of luck tomorrow, Coach. Thanks very much. Thanks.